Oh, uh, today we're going to be making lamb shoulder blade chops, so stay tuned. Step-by-step -step instruction, and Chloe, you want to see anything? We have a new cat. Yes, his name is Simba. Because <laughs> it's big. Hi. Step number one, fill your sous vide bucket with water. All the way to eight quarts. You can set your sous vide to 130.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure to cover it so it heats up faster. Then go ahead and press start. So the next thing you're going to do is go ahead and pack your lamb shoulder blade chops. I like to use salt and thyme. You can see that the lamb shoulder blade is very well marbled. It's going to have a lot of flavor, but we want to make sure it's not that tough. So on one side, layer some salt. Add some thymes while you're at it. Some thyme. Slightly press on it. Okay, we'll do the same thing to the other side. Some salt. And then, once again, some thyme. And then once again, let's go ahead and lightly press the thyme onto the meat. All right. So what I didn't mention was that I left these chops out at room temperature for maybe 20, 25 minutes. Now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go ahead and place these chops inside of a Ziploc bag. I like to use the freezer ones. I use for these type of sizes, I use quart, okay? So go ahead and open it up, grab the chop, oh yeah, sit inside. Do the same thing to the other one. Grab the chop and place it inside. Then what I like to do on the very top, I like to place some Kerrygold butter never have too much butter and I do the same thing to the bottom One more. for this next part um, I like to take all the air out of the bag so what I'll do is that I'll just zip lock most of it leave a little slit open and it just suction the air out Almost as effective as a machine, but it's very, it, it works. Same thing with the other one. Grab it, zip it all the way, leave a little slit open, suction the air out. Right there. Excuse the mess in the back, but the sous vide is now at 130.5, 130.6 degrees Fahrenheit. What I'm gonna do now these are airtight, almost airtight. Just place it inside. And we're gonna leave these in here for two hours. If it goes a little more, more, if it goes a little more than two hours, that's perfectly fine. Okay, so again, it's been about four hours. I'm gonna turn that off. Now what I'm gonna do here, is I'm gonna take these out and I'm gonna place them to the side here. Just 
just like that. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to leave them alone for 10 minutes. That's it. As the cast iron gets hot, leave them here for 10 minutes. The meat's going to soak that up. I'll take them out, pat them dry, and then get ready to sear them. So now it's been 10 minutes. I let the juices kind of, you know, stay in here for a little bit. So and that's I'm going to take out carefully, grab it from the bone. The meat's going to be extremely soft. And we're going to save these juices. In a bit, we're going to cut them up. We'll put them in a bowl for the meat to cut. But right now, I'm going to pat it dry and sear it. So I already put the towel on, okay? Now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna place the meat on top. There we go. Maybe about 40 seconds. I can't express to you how good this smells. Unbelievable. Alexa, stop. Okay. There we go. Probably should have heated this one up a little more. Alexa, put on timer for 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 minutes. It smells so good, it's not even funny. Stop. One more. And that's it. My daughter smelled the meat from far away. Smelling really good. Okay. So I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it up. Okay. So there's bone here and there's bone on this side. So you wanna just take this. Ah, perfect. So I'm going to cut these up into pieces, and then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to, afterwards, put them inside a bowl. You making faces, Alex? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You realize I'm recording, right? Yeah. I mean, just look at this. Beautiful. Okay.
Oh, no, it's fully cooked. And pour it back in there. Uh, literally flavor. You know, last for a couple of minutes, just two or three, and you're good to go. If you want, you can season some salt, and voila. Lamb chops. Ooh. All right, ready? How many pieces do you want? Mm -hmm. Let me get one of the bones. All right. Do you need salt or no? Mmm, my god. Yeah, it does a little salt. Take a bite of it. I can't express how good that is. It's super soft. How's it? It's good. It's really good, huh? It's that hot too. My first time making them. Yeah. Jeez. That was hot. It's ridiculously soft and super tasty. Mmm. Thanks for watching. Adios. Mm. Watch more of our videos. Mm. Simba approves. Delicious, huh, Simba? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got some energy after eating some of that lamb, huh?